Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. Would you like to be my friend? <sighs> Peppa cannot wait to tell everyone her news. Mummy, Daddy, George! Hello, Peppa. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> I'm so excited. Why is that, Peppa? I'm going to meet my new friend. A new friend? Yes. <gasps> and who might this new friend be? I don't know. They're new, silly. <laughs> I'm going to show them Snowy Mountain, the beach, everything. Even Potato City. Peppa is excited to play with her new friend and explore all the brilliant places in her world. That's a good idea, Peppa. Yes, Daddy. It's going to be so much fun. So when is your new friend coming to play, Peppa? Very soon. I can't wait to play with them. Dinosaur. It looks like Mr. Dinosaur wants to play with Peppa's new friend, too. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Delta Shiny Zeta, and welcome to my friend Peppa Pig. Yes, I know, it's, it's kind of another random Let's Play that I'm doing, but it's another game published by Outright Games. As you all know, I've been in a really big mood lately to cover games published by Outright Games, such as Ben 10, Hotel Transylvania, Gigantosaurus, uh, Ice Age, and now this one, my friend Peppa Pig. Let's go ahead and uh, begin this. I've also played the Paw Patrol games in the past. There's been three on the Switch that have been released and I've played them all. Anyway, I'm gonna go into settings here and just take a look. Audio, we're good. Language, English, uh, subtitles on. There we go. Parental control. Choose how long a play session should last. The game will introduce a natural break after the chosen amount of minutes. No, no, I'm sorry, but we are not, you know, younger than 18. So I do not need no damn parents to tell me how to play my friend Peppa Pig, okay? If I want to play my friend Peppa Pig at the age of 29, then I will gladly play my friend Peppa Pig at the age of 29. Yes, I'm actually 29 in case all of you didn't know. Anyway, oh my God, like, it's actually so crazy when you think about it. Like, what should I, uh, I'll go with that one. Yeah, like it's pretty crazy because um, I started my channel when I was 21 years old. Like, <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Um, I'm just gonna make like a, a different character. Let's see, I'll use, I like Burgundy a lot. That's closer to Burgundy, so we'll go with that. But yeah, I started when I was 21 years old and now I'm 29, I'm about to be 30 in December. Like, that's ridiculous. Just how fast time flew, you know? Let's go with this one. No, actually, let's go with... Nah, yeah, let's go with that one. That's fine. Good choice. What color? color do you want to be? I want to be orange. Would you like to wear glasses? Let's see the shape here. Should I do any glasses? I guess just... Mm, hearts. <laughs> the dark. Let's go with the dark ones. Sure. And then a hat. Pirate. Ooh, a big top hat. This one. We're, we're gonna go with this one. <laughs> oh, this is so ridiculous, but I love this. Welcome to Peppa Pig's Town. You'll have a lot of fun here. We're going to meet Peppa in a moment, but first, let's try walking. Use the stick to move around. What a nice flower. Why don't you get close to it? Now press a button to touch it. Remember to use this button when it appears on the screen. The butterfly is flying away. Let's follow it. What's that? There's a fence blocking the way. Not to worry, you can use the same button to open the gate. Sometimes you will need to move things out of the way to keep going. Remember to use this button when it appears on the screen. Oh, hello! Welcome to the town! 
Where are you going, little one? To talk to Miss Rabbit, walk up to her and press the action button. Are you going to see Pepper? She's just up the hill. Keep walking and you'll be there in a minute. Bye now. Well done. You've learned how to move around in Peppa Pig's town. If you keep walking, you can meet Peppa. Remember to press the button whenever this appears on the screen. You never know what could happen. Okay, so that right there was the game's tutorial. I wasn't talking over that because it was just a lot of voice acting. There is a lot of talking in this game, so I'll try to be quiet as much as I can in those segments, but the game is actually very short, and as you can see, it's obviously designed for even younger kids than other outright games. Like, most of the time, they are for young kids. This one is even younger kids. Like, it's like, oh my god, like, you can even tell the, the gameplay, you know, and how they talk and everything. It's so funny. Hi, friend Peppa Pig. A new friend has come to visit Peppa. How exciting. <laughs> <laughs> oh goody, you're here! Welcome, we're going to have a lovely time! You're here, you're here! We're going to have the best day ever! So you can examine different things here. I was going to go upstairs. Um, I mean, that's one possibility. Let's go upstairs. This is my room. Do you like it? I have lots of toys in the basket. Yeah, so just doing, you know, random stuff in here. You can keep, uh... Yeah, see, like, when you examine something... She'll eventually say, oh, this is boring. Let's go do something else. Basically, that's what she's saying. You know, you can keep tapping on stuff, but that's all she's going to say. Hello there. What are you two up to in here? Mummy, Mummy! We're playing with the toys in my basket. I think George would like to play with you, too. Impossible. George, I'm busy with my new friend. Ooh. Peppa, I'm sure you can all play together, the three of you. Why don't you play tag? How do you play tag? You have to chase each other, and when you catch someone, they're it. Okay, you're it. <laughs> okay then, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Wow, we're playing tag. How crazy is this? But yeah, like I was saying, this game is incredibly short and it's really just, you know, <laughs> like you just go around and like interact with stuff. And it's designed for very young kids, but um, uh, this might sound crazy, but um, I was actually getting this game requested a little bit since I've been in this outright games mood, you know? People were like, hey, why don't you play this game? You know, like, okay. But yeah, we've um just go back get back apart. I think I can just leave maybe. We just keep uh, going around and tagging me through. This is some quality gameplay right here, isn't it? Man. Let's go down here and see what we can do. Let's try going this way. Peppa, I see you have a new friend. Let's sit on the couch. Hmm, seems like Peppa doesn't want to you know, do anything here. Well, we'll go over here. What's the matter, George? Why are you crying? I'm sore. I'm sore. What's that, George? You've lost Mr. Dinosaur? Don't worry. I'm sure it hasn't gone far. 
Could you have left it outside? George and Pepper need your help to find Mr. Dinosaur. He must be somewhere nearby. We will find it! We're good at finding things. Let's go this way. Mr. Potato! Do you like Mr. Potato? Pepper does. Let's go this way. Oh, look, so I can interact with this lamp. Oh, would you mind turning it back on so I can read? Let's go this way. Thank you. Hello again, you two. Are you having a nice time? Okay, I think we're gonna try to leave the house. Wait, I can interact with a trash can. Hmm. Nothing. All right, let's try leaving. Let's see what happens. seems that Mr. Dinosaur is very high up in the tree. Perhaps they could use the help of someone taller. Shaking the tree will not help. So we gotta go find somebody. Here's a kite on the floor. That's interesting. Hmm, can we use that kite? To help us? What was that? What was that? Wait, I went to the left. What? <laughs> what is going on here? Okay, so now we're in this puddle. Wait, what happened to the diamonds? I'm so confused right now. Okay, we got dirty here. Okay, let's get out. Back home. All right, we can drive the car here. <laughs> Isn't it so random? Everything's just happening. <laughs> oh, this is so funny, but I love it. It's just so, it's so ridiculous in such a good way, you know? I love it. The playgroup. You have arrived at the playgroup. A place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. Okay, let's play and learn. Hello, Wonderful, we drew a circle and shaded it in. And I think we're drawing a flower, that's what it looks like. Oh, there's a little stem, okay. Yeah, sure, why not? Wait, what? What? No! It's like it disappeared. I feel like, I don't think it wants you to like, redo things, you know? Lovely! It will look great on Pepper's wall. Can I keep going this way? Let's see, what do you say? Children, today is a very special day. Do you know what day it is? Is it your birthday? No, it's not my birthday, Danny. Anyone else want to guess? How about you? Good guess! Today is sports day. Whoa! What is sports day? Sports day is a very important day. Everyone must do sports today so we can all stay healthy. Let's go to the running track. Ooh! All right, children. 
start running on my count. Three, two, one, go! Here we go. We're doing a race. Go, go, go. Oh my god, I'm winning. <laughs> That's when everybody runs so funny. I love it. I'm going. They'll need to rush me. I'm doing well. I'm winning. Yeah, all you gotta do is hold the stick to the right <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> and that's it. One last effort, children. You're almost at the finish line. We're almost there, apparently. Where is it? There it is. We win. Hell yeah. Oh, I meant sorry, I meant heck yeah. You all did a very good job. You deserve a trophy today, don't you think, Peppa? Susie? Pedro? And you too, of course. And you too, you nameless character. about the importance of sports today. But can we still run if it's not sports day? Oh, of course. You can always run. Running is fun. <laughs> All right, we're back in here. That's kind of nice. Um, I think we can just leave. Oh, here's this. What is this here? Let's interact with this little thing. We can play some music. Okay, I had enough. Can I play with these blocks here? Oh, I can. Let's try this out. Three, two, one. Splendid. Now we go from big to small. Two, one, three. Now it's all jumbled up. Uh, why don't you try it again? One, two, three. This goes from small to big. Very good. Wow, we are the best at counting. Oh, we're so amazing. Oh wait, there was another thing. Oh, whatever, it's fine. This way? Let's go back. I thought there was another thing to interact there, but I guess it's fine. Hello, Mr. Bull. What's going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. I'm sure you're very busy. We'd better be on our way. Hmm. Is there a way to go through? Oh, yes. You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Oh, I see. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. After an amazing, crazy obstacle there, our heroes clear it. Alright, made it back. Let's see if there's any new stuff that we can do around here now that we're back home. Oh, look at that. Drawing! Oh, I guess we only take our last one because the flower's not in here. This is my room. Do you like it? I have lots of toys in the basket. Arr. 
This all seems like the same. Uh, let's try going back. Maybe we can head this way to see if there's anything new on this side. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. I see you have a new friend. I am the same friend. Arr. Doing so. <sighs> <laughs> Did you enjoy sports day with the play group? I heard you were great in the race. Yeah, I mean, I did enjoy it. Do you like Mr. Potato? Pepper does. So I hear they're kind of saying the same things. Oh, there we go. Something new, finally. Bummy Pig, have you seen my glasses? I can't find them anywhere. I don't think I have, Daddy Pig. Pepper, why don't you and your new friend look for Daddy Pig's glasses? They have to be somewhere around the house. Yes, yes, Mummy! <laughs> oh no, what a massive adventure we're going to have here. We have to find those glasses. There they are. We found the glasses. Let's bring them back to Daddy. Not to worry, your heroes are here, Daddy Pig. I always find it weird how they call themselves Daddy Pig and like Mommy Pig. Uh, here's your glasses. That's great, Pepper. Thank you. And thank you. You are a great friend to Pepper. All right, so now we have to figure out what we are going to do next. Hello again, you two. Are you having a nice time? Mm, I don't think I need... Okay, I'll just check the room, but... Yeah, no, I don't think we need to do that. Let's try leaving the house again to see if we can find something different this time. Why don't we go visit my granny and grandpa? The house is just ahead. Let's keep walking this way. Let's go this way. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is where Peppa's taking us. It seemed like it was that direction. Well, here's the kite that we couldn't really do much with. We tried to get it, but it wouldn't keep taking us. Let's see if this works. Granny and Grandpa's house. We did, in fact, make it. Grandparent's house. This is my Granny and Grandpa's house. Grandpa is always in his garden, and Granny takes care of the chickens. This is Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Pepper always has a great time here. Polly Parrot imitates everything you do. Why don't you try jumping or making a sound? Oh no! Polly's food bowl is empty! She must be pretty hungry. Why don't we go and get some food so we can fill the bowl? Alright, we gotta go fill the bowl. Here's another uh, lamp again. We can turn it on. Waste electricity. I love that. Okay, so we're going to grab this and give you some food. Look, honey, here's your food. It will give you energy to do more jumping and chirping. Ah, <laughs> 
oh this is so those those animations are, they're, sometimes they just get me you know like they really do all right let's sit here anything this is boring now we don't want to do boring stuff okay there's nothing on that side I can also, I think, sit on this side, but that's about all there is to do here, so... Where are the grandparents? I can't find them anywhere. Can we interact here? Let's see. Garden, oh my god, he got lots of stuff. Oh, there we go. Found you. So that new plants will grow in the garden. Do you want to help me? Yes, please. What do we have to do? Well, for starters, pick one of the plants in the garden and grab a seed from it. Any plant? Yes, Peppa. Whichever you prefer. Ooh, but I don't know which one to pick. I know. Why don't you help me pick? Help Pepper and Grandpa grow a new plant in the garden. Go to one of the plants and pick up a seed. All right, we're gonna do the first one. This one, pumpkins. I like pumpkins. Did you grab a seed? Well done. Now come back and plant it here. First. Make a little hole. Now put the seed in. Cover it with earth and water it. Pretty basic stuff. This reminds me of Harvest Moon, you know? Harvest Moon 101. I play a lot of Harvest Moon games on my channel, so... <laughs> Come back every once in a while to see how much the plant has grown. Good job. You have planted a new seed in Grandpa's garden. Make sure to come back here every once in a while to see the plants grow. Alright, let's keep going left and see what else we can find. Is this some trash here? Grandpa, what is this for? Oh, that is called compost. It's a special muck that I use to fertilize the veggies. Be careful, though. It's very smelly. What does fertilize mean, Grandpa? It means it will help them grow bigger and be even more delicious. Why don't you try putting some in this patch of land? Oh, oh, great job! Now the plants will grow strong and tall. 